Hello, welcome to our monthly performance monitor. My name is Barney Hawkins, Investment Director at True Potential. With all the major economies of the world enjoying a period of synchronized growth, very clear consensus of opinion is evident across the investment community. Rising interest rates in the US and UK and an end in sight to quantitative easing in Europe and Japan have prompted a move away from fixed interest securities and there is now a clear preference for equities. In the UK, concerns over Brexit loom large. The consensus of opinion appears to be that while valuations may be attractive relative to international comparisons, the lack of clarity over the nature of Britain's withdrawal from the European single market makes investment in the UK less certain. There is an, an acknowledgement that despite stock market indices reaching record levels, many of the UK's leading companies are languishing well below their high points. However, investors are finding more attractive opportunities elsewhere in the world, and for the time being, the UK remains under pressure, with the market down 2% over the last month. In the US, economic growth remains strong and corporate profitability robust. However, interest rates are set to move higher through the course of the year, and conjecture over whether there will be two quarter point hikes or four is dividing investors. The benefits of President Trump's much vaunted tax reforms have been priced into equity markets, which were up 5.7% in January. However, the jury is still out on the effects of applying this level of stimulus at the current stage of the economic cycle, and there are concerns it could mean interest rates rising further and faster than currently envisaged. The focus will remain firmly on inflation, with wage inflation especially seen as a key metric. Europe has also been very strong, up 2.5% over the month. President Macron appears not only to have galvanised the French economy, but that of the whole region. And although structural imbalances still exist, for now they remain concealed under a cloak of economic prosperity. In Germany, Angela Merkel's difficulty in forming an effective coalition government is seen as largely irrelevant, with all parties except the far right committed to the European project. Only the forthcoming Italian elections and the rising strength of the euro present possible headwinds in the near term. Turning to the Far East, Japan is finally enjoying a period of sustained economic growth. Shinzo Abe's radical reforms have finally borne fruit and, although Japan's program of QE is beginning to be questioned, it looks set to continue for now and Japanese equities were up 1.1% over the month. Emerging markets were the standout performer, gaining 8.3%. Asia-Pacific tech companies are very attractively priced relative to their developed world counterparts, and with growth in China forecast to continue at around 6.5%, prospects for the Pacific Basin appear underpinned. With the focus firmly on inflation numbers and on the interest rate response from central banks, financial markets could become choppy. However, multi-asset funds and our proposition are well positioned to navigate uncertain waters. Our wide diversification by manager style, asset class and geography will accommodate the risks, while our managers will seek to take advantage of as many opportunities as possible. Thanks for listening and we'll see you again next month.